man admits using dark web and scheme to kill girlfriend and we're not making love no more <laughs> sorry bitcoin transactions are 100 percent traceable through something called the blockchain while it might not have a person specific government name on it it has something called a bitcoin address now if your number one suspect links up with that bitcoin address you can pretty much put two and two together a gwinnett county doctor will serve seven years in prison after pleading guilty to a murder for hire plot the guy that i caught last week who tried to get his ex-wife clipped he got 10 years for this james wan was sentenced on Thursday for the sinister scheme, which investigators say was orchestrated on the dark web. Juan's exact sentence was seven years and three months in prison, followed by two years of supervised release. In October 2023, he pleaded guilty to one count of using a facility of interstate commerce and the commission of murder for hire. Dude, you're a doctor. You pick up your stethoscope and you find yourself another heartbeat. You see Gray's Anatomy? They get pick of the litter. It's not like the police. In a release sent to Fox 5, U.S. Attorney Ryan Buchanan wrote by using the dark web to conceal his search for someone to kill his girlfriend. Juan expected to evade detection, even going as far as using cryptocurrency to pay for the crime. Investigators say the cryptocurrency used was thousands of dollars worth of Bitcoin. Cryptocurrency and the dark web have been a common marriage probably since the beginning, said FBI Special Agent Daniel Polk. The FBI would not comment specifically on this case, but Fox 5 spoke with Agent Polk about the use of crypto cryptocurrency by criminals you already know what i'm about to say there's no such thing as hitmen and since he was trolling on the dark web if someone would have just stole his money who is he really going to tell i wouldn't be surprised if he pinged an fbi watch page on his very first try it's not a crime to use cryptocurrency however in using it with crimes we have seen cryptocurrency is perceived by criminals to be more of an anonymous means of transferring funds for payments or services said Polk. if you're seeking to have some perceived sense of anonymity you're not going to go to your local bank and take out a wire transfer where there are security cameras recording you. But cash is still the hardest to track out of all these transactions. There's zero paper trail. You're probably going to look for a quick, easy method that has some more sense of anonymity involved, which is where we do see cryptocurrency being used quite frequently amongst, you know, criminals. Maybe if he was as committed to being a good boyfriend as he was committed to trying to get his girlfriend murdered, they would still be together. Just a little something to reflect on some Something to talk to your cellmate about for the next seven years. According to the Georgia Composite Medical Board's website, Juan's license was listed as lapsed online and was set to expire in October 2022. He won't be needing it anytime soon anywhere.